Hey you guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Let's get into the tutorial. So I like to make my backgrounds or my scenes um, in Canva. You can create them in PowerPoint or Keynote if you have um, a Mac. But for me, I like to create everything in Canva because I work a lot in Canva. So if you do decide that you want to create your scenes or your backgrounds in Canva, all you will have to do is just download them as JPEGs or PNGs and then just upload them to the Boom workspace. Okay, so now you are inside of your deck and the first thing you want to do is add a background image to the card mark number one. I don't like working with the template cards because it's just too confusing So for me. So I just use the first card and then duplicate as I go. So once you press upload, it's going to take you to where you can upload the backgrounds that you've downloaded, whether it be from Canva or PowerPoint. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a sound to this scene. Now this deck is being made for kinder students, so they are not quite reading yet. So adding a voice with the directions is really helpful. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the left side where you see sound and you're going to drag it onto the screen. Now this is a pro feature, a publisher feature if I'm not mistaken. So everyone it does not have access to this feature, but if you do, this is what you will do. So once you, um, drag and drop the sound you could either upload pre-recorded sounds or you can record your sounds right here in boom okay if you decide to use the voice recorder in boom you're just going to press voice record and then the option for you to record would pop up once you press start the um, you have to give boom access to your mic and then once you do that then you are able to record um whatever it is that you want to say and then you can press stop when you're done and then after you're done make sure that you label your sound so that you'll know um, which sound is which when it comes to adding them to your scene it's just easier that way Now that you have your sound onto your scene, you want to head over to the right hand side where it says sound properties and you want to make sure that autoplay is selected so that the directions automatically plays for your kiddo. So once you're done making sure that the sound is playing automatically and that you deselect the allow pause because you don't necessarily need that, you're going to now work on the answer. So in order to do so, there on the left hand side, there are um, buttons that we can use. There's a text button, just a regular button, an image button, capture button. You see all of that on the left hand side. What we're going to use is just the button option. So you're just going to drag the button into the scene like you did with the sound. And then we're going to turn this button into a transparent button. Okay, so now we're going to drag and drop the button right over the first square with the number four. So we're going to make sure that we position it directly over the answers um, and then just resize it so that it fits the square um, perfectly or as close to perfect as you can get it. And so once you're done with that, you're going to head back over to the right hand side over on the property side and you're going to click underneath background and you're going to tap on the color and then you're going to apply a transparent background and that's just one with the gray and white squares and then make sure that you select apply and then once you do that then you are going to delete the text as well so the word button you're going to delete that and then once you're done deleting that you're going to head back over to the properties panel and you're going to click on border and then you are going to get rid of the border so once you click on border you're going to then click on style and then click on none and then that will take away the border and then it'll turn the button into a transparent button So now you're going to duplicate the transparent button and you are going to place it over the second and the third um, square. And then once you do that, we're going to then select which answer is correct and which answers are wrong. 
Okay, so for this deck, the answer is three. There were three words that the kiddo should have heard um, when the sentence played. And so you want to make sure that you select the transparent button over number three and make sure you mark it correct. And then for the answers four and two, you want to make sure that you select the transparent button and mark them wrong. Okay, so now you can continue to build on this deck by duplicating this card and changing the background. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So now we're going to head over to the left hand side where all of our cards are. And we're going to duplicate the first card that we have selected. And you know it's selected because it is lit up in red. Making sure that the card you just duplicated is selected. You're going to head back over to the right hand side. Click on background image and then change the background image. Be sure to change the answers as well. Making sure that the right answer is marked correct and that the wrong answers are marked wrong. Following the same steps that you did with the first card. Continue to duplicate, change the background and the answers for each card. Then press preview so that you can see it in action. <laughs> 